Welcome back to another episode on Beho Reviews in Gaming and Entertainment. In this episode, we take a look at one of my favorite genres and franchises of all time, Dragon Ball Fighter Z. Released by Bandai Namco in 2018 and developed by Arc Systems Works, comes a fighting game for the Dragon Ball community can be proud of. I purchased this game at full price in 2018, but never really got around playing it with other games I was trying to finish, and the adult responsibilities pretty much shut this game down for me. Finally, I'm able to put this game into my hands and play it for a fair amount of time, and boy, am I impressed. It has been hard to capture the exact type of gameplay for a brand as crazy as Dragon Ball, a perfect license to have in fighting game for since all they do is fight, but to translate that home to the masses can lead to just another dud. Playing on so many different types of Dragon Ball games, seeking the perfect one can be exhausting. Finally, Arc Systems has found something we can play and be proud of. Inspired by concepts and control schemes of other fighting games, the 2D plane like Street Fighter V was the first step in simplifying the playing field. You are able to select up to three players for your team on a three-on-three -three battle royale for a large cast of characters from the series. As you fight, you will build up your power bar used for supers and powered hits that you can use for combos and more. Depending on your play style, even defensive players have a way out with signature moves from the anime like Vanish Attack and Teleporting Away. Other game features like using Shenron that allows players to gather Dragon Balls as they fight to progress to gain benefits from health to special moves and combos. Assists are also present from your team members reminiscent to Marvel's vs. Capcom 2 that can and take deliver damage so use them sparingly. When watching veteran fights, you may feel that a lot of combos and button mashing is needed to complete what you see on screen. It is the total opposite. The button presses are smooth and easy to perform with ease. You can link a super move by merely pressing one button multiple times. Best way to practice is the practice mode or to play the story arcs that offer training guides to help you along the way. You will be pulling off combos in no time at all and the training is very intuitive. There are two story arcs that you can play through to help hone your skills and to practice against the computer. The story is new and you won't have to sit through the same old story told multiple times from the anime. Although new though, the story can still fall short and feel boring at times with each character talking way too much. Getting the right voice actors from the US and Japanese versions are great, but do little to pick up the pace. It's extremely silly as well. Honestly, I don't care one way or another about the Doctor, although Universal Domination Help them. That is why I'm in need of strong warriors like yourself. You have original strength, of which all those clones are lacking. The online fighting is a dream and as smooth for all my playthroughs as I didn't feel that any lag pushed the game one way or the other. The visuals are absolutely gorgeous and all characters move silky smooth is what you expect for a fighting game. They are able to pack in the best part of the anime and make it look like you are actually playing just that, an anime at home. Missing how coordinated Marvel vs. Capcom was and their combo designs, I was pleased that Fighter Z doesn't push the complexity but inherits them in an easier design. Although easier to jump in and play, veteran players will still demolish beginners as timing each connection, knowing the animations for openings, and linking normal moves to a devastating super will still review the kings to the button mashers. Dragon Ball Fighter Z gets a 9.0 out of 10 for its great fighting system for everyone yet still challenges even the most hardcore fans. Although the story arcs are unremarkable, they are still new and the DLC packages for new fighters have been top notch delivering the very best even now in 2020 for a two year old game. That's it for me on this episode on Beho Reviews. Please like and subscribe if you like my videos. Beho out and great. Take us out of here.
Yeah.